Love you guys. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. It says, I have a question regarding what using and conversely not using willpower looks like. As I understand it, using willpower is along the lines of white knuckling or combating an urge instead of observing and letting the urge wash over by way of tapping into our set of tools and mental exercises. However, there's still a decision point to act on the urge or not even after using said tools. It seemed that there's a component of will to resist acting out on the urge. Even the tools prior render you more aware. Maybe meditation and tool use makes the burden of pain of that decision less to where you don't need to use only willpower to resist. That's correct. When I say that you don't use willpower, what I simply mean is that brothers use only willpower and you cannot use only willpower. Only willpower does not work in the long run. In the short run, it works. Do you need willpower to use the tools? Yes, you do need willpower to use the tools. Do you need a little bit of will somewhere in between? Yes, but understand this. Willpower, the way you understand it, is something that should be on autopilot for you. And a lot of guys, you don't know how to use it on autopilot, right? When I mean What I mean by autopilot, it's not like, oh, I use willpower automatically, JK, when I experience an urge. No, it doesn't work that way. You do need to get your willpower on autopilot to do the other things that will get you to the point where you don't experience an urge or in the early stages of your reboot, when you do experience an urge, you already have the habit of doing the things that are necessary, right? So again, I think you have the idea. I hope this clarifies it a little bit. Don't use only willpower. Only willpower does not work, but you can get yourself to the point where whatever will you're using, you don't even define it as willpower. Here's an example. If I say, uh, let's say right now, I need to use the bathroom. I probably needed to use the bathroom for, I don't know, the past hour, right? But I haven't, I haven't peed. <laughs> I haven't wet myself, right? I haven't urinated everywhere. Why is that, right? Now a kid would. Not because they can't control their bladder, just because they're just like this, like, oh, I'm still learning how to do it. I'm going to use my willpower to do it, to do this, right? I understand that eventually this thing is going to pass. And that's the thing about self-awareness. Self-awareness lets you understand that anytime you use your willpower, it means that you are trying to do one of two things. You're either craving something, so you're really, really, really trying to get relief for something, from something, or you're really, really hating something. So it's either like, oh my God, I really, really, really don't want to experience this strong urge, or oh my God, you know, I really, really, really want something else. Either way, the craving or the aversion is going to lead to a slip or a relapse. But when you have awareness and you just sit and you understand what is happening, then you understand the nature of the urge. And the nature is that it passes and you're going to be okay. Same way as... I need to pee right now, but I understand that I'm not going to wet myself and this live session is going to end at some point and I'm going to use the bathroom. That's what it is. The same thing. Your urge is going to pass and you're going to be okay. It literally becomes that easy. The only difference is you're going to need to pee more often in your life than you're going to need to, 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 to masturbate or view pornography. You will even get to the point that it's only something you experience a handful of times. You will still experience sexual urges to be with a woman in a healthy way, but not to view pornography, right? So it's a good question. You have the idea. I'm honestly just adding up a little bit, adding more to what you said, but you have the idea. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure that you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to actually get a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men, where you'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I learned over the past 14 years, as well as get strategies for putting together your own personalized reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video to get the free ebook. And thirdly, if you're not sure where you'd like to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, 
or you'd like to spend time with more like-minded professionals like entrepreneurs, business owners, men who work in sales or consulting or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join the group in the description below this video. And finally, if you need our help right now because you have a burning issue, it's an emergency. Your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally. You're about to lose your relationship and you want to live up to your potential or be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving? Then click on the link in the description below this video that actually says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.